Hello, welcome to Supermicro's infrastructure update for GTC 25. The latest advancements in AI computing are being driven by the NVIDIA Blackwell platform and the Supermicro liquid-cooled AI data center. This update provides an overview of the core infrastructure that surrounds these technologies and brings the solutions to life. The rapidly evolving AI industry has unlocked unlimited possibilities. The demand for AI training has never been greater, driving new, faster, and more efficient solutions like the Supermicro 10U air-cooled and the 4U liquid-cooled systems powered by NVIDIA HDX B300 NVL16 and the Supermicro NVIDIA GB300 NVL72. Liquid cooling is a critical requirement, but air cooling options for enterprises are still necessary. Beyond the box, AI is pushing every element of the architecture. Power and cooling, networking, storage, and the rack level integration to make it all work at scale. Today, we'll be covering data center building blocks that are required to construct a total AI solution at scale and on time. We will provide an update on the latest advancements in liquid cooling. We will take a more in-depth look at AI inference solutions as enterprises ramp up augmenting AI into their businesses and serving AI applications to their customer. AI requires data for training, and we will present data lake and data lake house solutions which enable enterprises and CSPs to collect, manage, and utilize their data to bring the power of AI to their business. Let's get started. AI has led to the rethinking of data center IT infrastructure. Functional units of compute have moved beyond rack scale to data center scale. Supermicro has expanded our portfolio in efforts to make AI data centers accessible to all. Very few companies have the internal IT resources to deploy computing infrastructure at this level of scale and complexity. Our building block approach encompasses the products and services to directly address the biggest gaps in the industry by truly solving customer problems. It starts with an individual system components and builds all the way up to the rack level and beyond. Supermicro's company history has followed a similar building block approach. Starting as a humble motherboard manufacturer in 1993, by 99, Supermicro has expanded its components portfolio and even introduced the first redundant PSU or power supply unit, all in effort to save our customers from losing countless hours of uptime. By the early 2000s, Supermicro built upon a lineup of rack mount servers. As we move forward, we began tackling larger and larger projects. So naturally, we expanded our focus from system level to rack level. This rack has evolved beyond just being an apartment of servers. For many of our customers, the rack has become the computer itself. Cluster design and deployments are complicated. There's a planning of the system nodes, rack layouts, power delivery, then there's the L11 and L12 testing. When you go on site, thousands of cables are routed, then the application loading, further more testing. These services too can be considered building blocks. And another set of building blocks is our total liquid cooling solutions. Supermicro now has a complete portfolio of liquid cooling components ranging from custom cold plates and advanced CDUs and all the way to the facility infrastructure, such as cooling tower. In total, Supermicro's portfolio and products and services goes beyond the sum of its parts, allowing for faster time to deployment bleeding edge technologies, such as the new NVIDIA GB300 NVL72 and NVIDIA's HGX B300 NVL16. There are many complexities in building an AI data center, provisioning, testing, burn-in cycles, firmware matching, performance tuning, network port mapping, data center floor layouts. This is just to name a few. These are the major pain points 
and Supermicro is here to directly address where our customers struggle most. Delivering the next generation of AI infrastructure involves more than just integrating new GPUs. It demands a complete rethinking of systems, racks, networks, and the entire data center ecosystem. With the introduction of the NVIDIA Blackwell platform, Supermicro and NVIDIA are confident that direct-to-chip liquid cooling is the optimal solution for modern data centers. This technology doubles computer density while dramatically improving efficiency and productivity. So, how does it all work? Let's dive in. We will explore the fine details of our largest liquid cool deployment and discuss the future of AI compute density, including how Supermicro achieved the feat of integrating 96 NVIDIA Blackwell GPUs into a single rack. Recently, Supermicro deployed 6,144 8 GPU 4U liquid cool systems, totaling 49,000 GPUs interconnected with NVIDIA Spectrum X Ethernet, all just completed in 122 days. Managing finite data centers resources like floor space and thermal efficiency in a project of this scale is an immense challenge. The key to our success lies in our liquid cooling design. At Supermicro, our liquid cooling solutions are built from the ground up to function seamlessly with all components provided by a single vendor. This approach reduces lead times, simplifies the supply chain, and eliminates the need to manage multiple vendor touch points. Let's start with a critical component of our solution, the Supermicro InRack CDU, available in 100 kilowatt and 250 kilowatt options. The InRack CDU is at the heart of what we call advanced liquid cooling. It serves multiple functions, including circulating the coolant to cooperate for efficient GPU and CPU cooling. The CDU also features an intuitive touchscreen and supports remote management, enabling optimized power efficiency and precise cooling control. Supermicro has gone beyond the industry standard of 100 kilowatt capacity with our new 250 kilowatt CDU, designed to meet the thermal requirement of the NVIDIA Blackwell platform. This includes support for NVIDIA GB200 MVL72, HGX B200, and the upcoming GB300 MVL72 and HGX B300 MVL16. With the 250kW CDU, we achieve unprecedented compute density, accommodating up to 12 4U nodes in a single 52U rack. To further enhance this density, we've completely redesigned our cooling manifolds. Instead of the traditional horizontal in-rack 1U manifold, we now seamlessly integrate vertical manifolds into the rack frame. This design innovation frees up valuable rack space, ensuring maximum compute density. By adopting liquid cooling, our customers benefit from improved efficiency in both energy usage and data center footprint resulting in direct improvements in data center productivity and scalability. As the AI ecosystem matures, many enterprises are shifting their focus to serving production AI applications to end users. One of the keys to this is distributing AI infrastructure from the data center to the edge and solutions like NVIDIA, NIM, Inference Microservices have made it even simpler than ever to deploy optimized pre-trained AI models everywhere. For AI data centers, high-capacity GPU memory is critical for AI inference performance. Supermicro has introduced three new systems designed for AI inference at scale, optimized for NVIDIA H200 MVL Tensor Core GPU that provide you with a 564GB of the combined GPU memory using a 4-way NVLink bridge. Smaller, local data centers require space-optimized solution without the need for liquid cooling. Supermicro 3U PCIe GPU systems is designed to fulfill this requirement with the support for up to 20 single-width PCIe GPUs or a double width GPUs, including NVIDIA H200 MVL. Now let's look at more complex solutions. 
including those designed for the countless IT equipment racks outside of the data center. For this, Supermicro offers a flexible range of short depth rack mounted solutions with up to four full high full length GPUs in a 2U form factor, bridging the gap between the data center and edge for concealed or wall mounted deployments. Supermicro's E403 is a highly configurable compact box system with the support for full size GPUs. We have deployed hundreds of thousands of these systems in places like retail stores, manufacturing facilities and defense. With support for GPUs like the NVIDIA H100 Tensor Core GPU, you can deploy AI influence with LLMs up to 48 billion parameters at this stage. Lastly, I want to talk about our latest compact AI system. Supermicro's NVIDIA JSON O-Ring NX Fanless Edge AI Inferencing System about the size of a lunchbox. Featuring NVIDIA JSON O-Ring NX 16GB, these solutions deliver up to 100 tops of the performance along with extensive connectivity. It's an excellent option for AI machine vision thanks to its two primary engines, the Programmable Vision Accelerator and the Deep Learning Accelerators. The next generation of AI is more than just the next foundational model. It will be measured by improvement in performance, efficiency, and latency, and will be delivered by AI inference optimized solution from the data center to the edge and everything in between. AI data pipelines from injection to inferencing demand varied high performance processing and storage while balancing power and data center footprint. Both Supermicro and NVIDIA have long partnered to deliver high performance storage solutions for AI data centers using technologies like NVIDIA GPU direct storage and Supermicro all flash servers. This is fast and all good. Today, we would like to talk about a couple of groundbreaking storage platforms that we have developed incorporating key NVIDIA technologies. The goal being to keep going faster, lower the data center power consumption, and provide more options that integrate better into the NVIDIA ecosystem. To begin with, we're really proud to launch the industry's first storage server based on NVIDIA's Grace CPU Superchip. Developed jointly with NVIDIA, this one new form factor platform utilizes the NVIDIA Grace CPU Superchip with 144 cores and has up to 960 gigabytes of memory. To complement this all flash server has 16 PCIe Gen 5 E3.S NVMe drives providing up to one petabyte of high performance storage plus four PCIe Gen 5 by 16 slots for networking. For overall value, apart from high performance and capacity, this new platform also provides better power wattage efficiency based on ARM architecture, making it a perfect fit for heavy AI workloads. Second on the list is a new petascale PCIe Gen 5 All Flash JBuffer Array that incorporates NVIDIA's Bluefield data processing unit. Unlike its x86 predecessors, the new JBuff offloads both processing and networking features to the NVIDIA Bluefield 3 DPU, enabling high storage performance and lower power consumption. It is a key component of all NVIDIA's data center architecture, hence offering seamless integration of this JBuff into modern AI data centers. In closing, as you can see, Supermicro will never stop innovating and delivering cutting-edge storage solutions to solve the new AI data center challenges. Supermicro offers a total package for AI storage featuring a data lake and high-performance tier, and it's fully integrated with software-defined storage solutions from our partners. We've just covered the key technologies that will be powering some of the most ambitious AI infrastructure projects in the world. Supermicro and NVIDIA have jointly developed solutions to seamlessly deploy modern AI infrastructure, including liquid-cooled AI training clusters and enterprise AI inference solutions. We hope you found this presentation informative. To learn more, visit supermicro.com AI and enjoy GTC 2025.